Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this video, what we're going to be doing is talking about OnlyOffice. The OnlyOffice team reached out to me to help promote their new 7.1 version. This version has a lot of new features, improvements, and changes that are definitely worth a mention. First of all, before I dive into the new features and improvements of 7.1, I'm going to talk about OnlyOffice in general and why I like it versus something like a Microsoft Office especially, and uh, LibreOffice. Now, most Office suites have separate applications for every individual function, such as documents, spreadsheets, presentations, whatever it may be. This is all integrated to one kind of like a web browser. If I go ahead and open up a new document, you could see right there, it opens up in the top as a new tab. Open up new spreadsheet, it's a, another new tab, all integrated within the same exact application. But with that, if you're not a fan, you could still drag these out if you'd want to and work on them separately in separate windows, of course. But I really like how it's all integrated into one. And you noticed when I opened up the document, the default formatting is docx. So this, or only office is really known for having remarkable compatibility with Microsoft Office. So even if you are working with somebody who uses Microsoft Office, or you just need to download documents and all that, you are not going to have any troubles really converting them or opening them. And like me, my school that I'm currently attending, they are 100% dedicated into the Microsoft Office space, and I have never had any issues doing any work within OnlyOffice with any of the stuff that any of my professors or really anybody has given me. And with that, just based on the general UI, it is incredibly familiar. Everything is where you'd expect it to be, especially if you're coming over from some other proprietary software. This is free and open source, so that's just another pro. And all the tools and everything that you'd expect are all here and easy to use. So with that, we're going to start diving into some of the new feature changes. So from here, what I'm going to do is open up this only Office 7.1 announcement PDF file. And this is one of the new features. You can now open and view PDFs natively within only Office, eliminating the need for some third party application to go ahead and do this. And that in itself is pretty cool. But what makes this actually special is the ability to save this as a different type of document. All we would need to do is switch this over to the open document text file here, and I'm going to give this a quick rename. Let's just say dash edit, save that, saving our document. And now what we could do is head back over to our main only office tab here, open a local file from my home directory, and you can see it right there, only office dash edit. So if I give that a quick open, you can see here, it's basically the exact same file. It, it still has a little bit of quirks. It doesn't convert everything over perfectly all the time. So you can see like all of this is set to bold. So you'd want to go through, undo that and make any other edits you want, but just being able to like copy and paste all this real easy from a document that did not have that functionality previously is very nice. Now, one thing I'm going to do is try to find a more difficult example, something that's formatted very awkwardly. And for that, we're going to use this uh, Harden 1968 PDF. So let's give that an open. And you could see it's uh, an academic text. Formatting is going to be very difficult for this. And then let's go ahead and save this out as a Office Open XML. Save it. So here it is, Harden 1968. Let's open that. And here we go. So it did pretty good. Still bolded a lot of things. Now, the main issue with this kind of formatting that it hasn't been able to quite recognize yet is everything is still like this. So if I copied and pasted it, it would not be right. But going in and making some simple edits if you needed to, or even adding some notes in here or there, it, it's, it's very doable and it's a very welcomed feature. Now, if I open something else, I'm going to open up my entire textbook from a class I took last quarter, Environment and Society. You can see there are 352 pages, and now if we go over here, you have navigation. And like most other PDF viewers, you'll be able to see all the uh, specific chapters, headings, and easily navigate throughout your documents. So that is awesome. From there, what we're going to do, let's stay in this little document we converted earlier. I'm going to select everything and uh, unbold it just so it looks a little bit better. And some of the new stuff we're going to look at is on the view tab. Now you'll notice some new options. We have fit to width, which is nice. So we'll just make the document itself, the perfect zoom level to be as wide as your open window and look good. And then within the interface, you could also hide some things so we could get rid of the status bar, get rid of the toolbar when we're not actively using it, ditch the rulers if we don't need them. 
But what I like is the interface theme. You could actually change it right from here. So I could switch this over to dark and classic light or any of the other colors if I would like to. You could also change that in your settings, but it's nice it's available there within the ribbon. For the document, if you really want to save your eyes, you can switch that to a dark document, which will make the text white, background dark, save your eyes a little bit. So for now, I'm going to uh, undo some of these changes. And then we're going to move applications because there have been some improvements within the spreadsheet app. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in some random data here. There we go. Let's make this bigger so you all can see it. And the new feature is formula tips. So we got some data here. Let's do our equal sign and then start typing. So S and then right here, it gives us a bunch of different formulas to choose from. And we'll kind of figure out what's going on and then suggest to you what you might need as far as the function goes. So we wanted some, select all those, and there we go. And of course it works for other things. So if we wanted to grab like the median of all of these numbers, including the sum, we could do that real easy. Overall, it's a really handy tool. Now this specific spreadsheet isn't the best example, but another thing that we could do, which has been a uh, much requested feature, is print previews for your actual workbooks. So here you could go all sheets, current sheet, and actually see a print preview. If you have a lot more data, graphs, and things like that, that is a very, very handy feature. Now going away from Excel documents, we're gonna go close this out, jump over here. There's some new presentation features. And the big one over here is animations. So if I go ahead, let's add a title here, title, and then select the title. We can add various animations. And if you go down here, there are a good amount to choose from, including motion paths. So you can set custom animations. But of course we have the uh, typical ones that you'd expect in a PowerPoint presentation application, such as transparency, swirl, bounce, random bars, whatever you may need. And you get a little preview there. And then we have a lot more options such as uh, being able to re-preview, uh, start on click, you could change that, the actual delay and duration of the animations and so forth. And another thing here is if we add a couple new slides, you can now move these slides around just by right clicking on them. And here we can move it to the beginning, move slide to end. So whatever you may need to do. And of course we could keep the drag functionality. It's really easy if you have a slide like 40 slides down and you wanna move it up to the top instead of having to try to drag it up. So with that, I'm gonna head over to one of these blank slides real quick and talk about shapes. So what we're gonna do is go over to insert here and we're gonna insert a shape. So if we go right here, we have all of our shapes. These are our recently used. I haven't used any shapes at the moment. So these are just probably the most common that you will have available. Let's add this uh, star right here. So just drag and drop that in. And the new feature that was added was the ability to edit the geometry. So if we go ahead, right click and go to edit points. You can now see the available points and we can simply drag and move them around however we want, making the options for the actual shapes borderline unlimited and very customizable. So you can make the star a little thicker if you'd like to make it look like a Patrick here. If we go ahead and add a, a new custom color, make him a little, uh, little pink, there we go. And uh, speaking of colors, another thing that we could do now is the gradient direction. So if we go up to gradient fill, the default is going to be white, but I can change that actual direction right here. So if I click on this, you could see all the different options we have available to us. So right now the white gradient is on this side. If I wanted it to be on the other side, I would just select this one and it switches over. And then I could add a, a different color here to maybe make it a little bit more realistic for what we're going for. So maybe like a slightly darker purple, we can add that. Hard to tell, but you get the point. It's definitely nice. And the things that we've covered so far in this video is just the primary main things that you're gonna notice. There's a lot of changes under the hood and a lot of little features here and there that I couldn't get to in this video. Below, I'm gonna be linking to a blog post by the Only Office team that will dive deeper into all the specific changes. Uh, in addition to what I've talked about so far, under the hood, we're gonna be seeing some improvements because the open source Java engine that they use for this developed by Google has recently also gotten a huge update. They're using a newer version of Microsoft Visual Code Studio to go ahead and make this. So when you're, especially when you're dealing with large documents or huge spreadsheets, you're gonna notice better improvement when it comes to just opening documents and general day-to-day uh, -day tasks. 
Within this document writing application, there's improved search functionality. So you'll be able to actually search for functions and all kinds of different things. And something that's really cool is only office is coming to the arm ecosystem. At the moment, it's only supported on Ubuntu, but if you're running arm or an arm server, you'll be able to get only office on your system. And of course, it's not just all about the desktop application. They have a whole bunch of different products that you could go ahead and check out. Personally, I like to use only office on my next cloud instance. They have an only office server. So then I can use this software on my own server on the web to go ahead and edit and manipulate all my files anywhere in the world. But if we go to the only office homepage here, go to products and features, we could see everything that they have to offer. Only office for desktop is what we primarily focused on in this video. But of course they have only office workspace, only office docs. So you could do documents, email, CRM, a whole bunch of different things for your business. If that's what you're interested in, or of course we could always just head over to only office docs here, run it on our own server. And then we do have some enterprise options available to us. But if we just go over to community and check out the only office docs community, we can easily spin up our very own only office server, which is also on always very nice to be able to do. So with that, Everything I mentioned in this video will be linked down below, including the release announcement, the downloads to host your own only office server, or just get it on your uh, computer. Uh, with all that, thank you only office for reaching out and sponsoring the channel. You'll see some only office ad integrations in a couple of videos in a few weeks. Uh, but with all that, I hope you all have an absolutely beautiful day and good bye.